you saw you're the best at that language, right? For whatever reason. And then you learn more. And as you learn more, you realize that you really suck at that, right? And you have so much more to learn and to go. So then your confidence goes down. And now here's the place where actually most people give up. Every day, every day, we never steal cars, but we deal hard. Whip it real hard, whip it, whip it real hard. I caught a charge, I caught a charge. Whip it real hard, whip it, whip it real hard. Ain't by no point, stop steal, flipping them she kids. I'm on my money, stop steal, whipping them being sis. Um, today is a really interesting day because I have a lot of calls happening, a lot of client calls, a lot of clients that I'm supposed to start with in the next couple of weeks and really excited on that. Um, things are starting to really get together and kind of plan themselves out, which is really interesting. Uh, there's a couple of clients that I've been really looking forward to starting with, some really important ones, which when, after I sign and after we're good to go, I'll, I'll, probably, I'll probably talk a lot more about that, but really excited about some big, big clients that's going to open a lot of doors for us, and uh, we're going to kick ass for them as well. Other than that, today is, um, what time is today? What day is today? Let me see. It's Thursday today. You're probably seeing this now in the vlog, probably two days later, because that's our time frame, two days. Um, so, so yeah, I hope you're doing extraordinarily well today. Um, I'm going to think later on in the day about the topic of today's video, which I want to do that from now. I'm going to make the vlogs about a topic, um, because otherwise they will be too scattered. So I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out on that. Till then, um, let's... Go and continue with the rest of the vlog. Just a quick thing, so I don't forget, uh, I'm probably gonna do this Q&A sessions once in a while, probably once a week or something like that. So whenever you have questions specifically about a vlog or about something else you're wondering about, whatever it is, like you're trying to go towards something you want, like whatever question you have, social media, everything, um, make sure to drop it in the, in the comments on whatever vlog and um, the person that's doing this is gonna go through the questions and, and we're gonna I'm gonna answer some of the best ones probably once a week so reminder for that so this is kind of a 3 a.m. morning thought I have right now and here's how it works this is a graph and this is confidence and this is knowledge most people when they start doing something they start at a decent level of confidence this is a say 4 out of 10 it's 10 being max and knowledge is say 10 is max and this is zero. So let's just say they start at zero knowledge and four confidence. Most people will start with their confidence being like this. And when they know like of a one or a two or something, they will think like, think back when you, when you learn your first dance steps or whatever, or when you learn your first, what, like words in a language, you saw you're the best at that language, right? For whatever reason. And then you learn more and as you learn more, you realize that you really suck at that, right? And you have so much more to learn and to go. So then your confidence goes down. And now here's the place where actually most people give up, which is here, right? Because now they face the fact that they do not know that many things. And now they have to build up their confidence based on knowledge. And that it's a lot slower and goes a lot, goes for a longer period of time, right? I, I should have like a three-dimensional thing with time as well. Um, but the thing is, most people are not willing to go through that, through this, right? When you, when you start learning the guitar, you're gonna suck at it first, right? When you start learning whatever it is you learn, you're gonna suck at it first. When you realize that you really suck at it, you're gonna go down with your confidence because you just realize so there's so much more to learn and you're not really that good at what you're doing there, right? So um, that happens, but after you have built your confidence based on knowledge, based on actual skill, I could say skill here the same way, then this is really hard to beat. You cannot really build this guy, right? But this guy that just has the same level of confidence as this guy, this is really e this is really easy to beat, but it seems like it's powerful, right? So this guy right here seems like he's doing he's at this level, 
but he's actually not, right? This is the people you see on the street walking like they're the freaking mayors of the city, but they are not, right? This is the people that are going to the gym and are just walking so brave and so confident even though they're not buff, you know what I mean? So this is the delusional people that just have a minimal level of skill or, or knowledge, but their confidence is not based on that because they have not realized how much they have to learn. After they do, it will come a confidence dip and then it goes. So I think that this is how everything um, really is. This is how I think every skill, everything in life goes. You start off, you have a zero knowledge, zero, zero skill in that, but you have some confidence, that's your baseline confidence. Then you go and grow that, and you grow a bit. Then you realize you really suck at it and there's so much more to learn, and then your confidence just goes down. But then, if you are able to go through that and realize it, you can actually build your confidence based on skill. And that, my man, it's powerful. This right here is literally what most people don't do in life. Most people are not able to handle uncomfortable uncomfortability and everything that comes with this period of time, which takes some time. So yeah, I, I think that's a really important thing for anyone that just goes out and just wants to do um, anything, you know? When you're gonna start in anything, and if, even if you have natural talent or you don't, you're gonna need to start at a low point. There's just no other way. And when you're gonna start at a low, a low point, you need to realize this. Otherwise, you're gonna give up because your feelings will tell you that. But I just, I just, I love being a gut instinct feeling type of guy, but sometimes you just have to apply willpower to it. You Sometimes you just really have to go at it and just uh, use power and use uh, your, your, your actually willpower to go and, 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 uh, and drive through things. So um, I think this is really interesting. I mean, thinking back when I just started, when I started uh, just, do, just dancing, um, I went to like the first five lessons and then the teacher gave me as an example, like, oh, Catalin is doing amazing. Uh, and then it all went in my head, right? Because my confidence was, fairly high, but my skill was always zero, almost zero. And then I thought like, oh, I'm this huge dancer right now, right? Then after I've won a championship, uh, one, year after, one year after I won one championship, I looked back at the, at the competition time, the competition footage I had from winning that championship. And I, 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 I kid you not, I did not know, I, I could not tell why I won one year before that. So. When you grow in confidence, in, when you go in skill and knowledge, you are going to be more and more um, based, your confidence is going to be more and more based on that, and you're going to be more and more unshakable. But it's a hard road to take, and it's a slow road, right? So you got to make that decision, you know, uh, when you're going at things. So yeah, that's kind of... Um, um, my my thought right now I was thinking on this and I, I thought it's really interesting um, for the last I think three months I've been really trying to come up with more things to kind of make sense of what I think and what I believe uh, and I'm always analyzing always structuring or always improving and feedback analysis and all these things on my behavior and other people's behavior as well and I think that's really really valuable too so Enough for today's vlog. Um, hope you enjoy it and uh, see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Yo, this is Catalin, and we are gonna talk about today in today's vlog if you should go or change or drop out of college.